everyone is excited for the event. In today's video, we'll be sharing some of the most fascinating stories that lead to the UFC 275. From Yuri Prohaska's past, the old and infamous Glover Tex era, on his journey reaching the US as a teenager, Dana White's confidence of Valentina Shevchenko, and Dustin Poirier vs Justin Gaethje 2 leaked reports of rumored rematch. We're also going to touch on Askar Mozarov, the Ukrainian McGregor wannabe, or so some claim. So stay tuned for the UFC 275 exclusive. Yuri Prohaska's professional MMA journey started in April 2012 for the Gladiator Fighting Championship. As at that time, this was the biggest promotion in the Czech Republic. Prohaska was inspired to start training in martial arts after watching a video of kickboxer Raymond Deckards, mixed martial artist Mirko Filipovic, and Fedor Emelianenko. Before joining MMA, Yuri Prohaska played amateur football. He was also an active freestyle BMX rider and a football player. The fighter certainly holds a stack of talent and creativity. Prohaska currently competes in the light heavyweight division in the UFC. The 29-year-old fighter is the inaugural and former Ryzen FF light heavyweight champion, and also the inaugural and former Czech GCF light heavyweight champion. The number two ranked UFC light heavyweight fighter made his professional debut against former UFC light heavyweight title challenger Volkan Ozdemir on July 11, 2020 at UFC 251. He won via knockout in the second round and was awarded a performance of the night bonus award. In addition, the former amateur Muay Thai kickboxer has a crazy training regime where he would punch a tree 500 times a day. After 200, 500 punches to the tree, going to the bag makes me feel like I'm punching pillows. In an interview with MMA Hour, the Czech fighter said it is helpful for him and it's good for the body. The UFC light heavyweight told Ariel Helwani that he uses this technique on the body of his opponents, thus making him more dangerous. Hitting a tree 500 times is crazy, but not taking breaks at all is even worse. The UFC light heavyweight doesn't take any breaks when he's hitting the tree in question. Glover Texera is the second oldest champion in the UFC. He sure has the spirit and the passion to remain consistent in keeping up with today's talent, a true inspiration to everyone. The UFC light heavyweight champion recently explained the details of his dangerous journey to reach the United States as a teenager. Teixeira's journey from UFC debutant to champion has lasted almost a decade. The 42-year-old fighter has had to surmount lots of challenges. While speaking with Morning Combat, Teixeira claimed that he had to travel illegally through the Mexico border. The champ added that he always wanted to go to the United States at the age 18 or 19. Immediately, he got to Connecticut. He saw that there were countless opportunities. The 42-year-old watched his prime go before his eyes, but he wasn't deterred. Teixeira ultimately made his Octagon debut at UFC 146 on May 26, 2012. Though he joined the UFC late, he was able to make his way to a world title in spite of time. In his second attempt at championship gold, Teixeira submitted Jan Blahovic in the second round with a rear naked choke at the UFC 267. After the championship belt was wrapped around his waist, Teixeira said that by capturing his first title in his 40s, he confounded common opinion about aging fighters and their ability to compete at the highest level. The Brazilian fighter is also thinking of retiring this year. However, he's not in a hurry to take this decision. The champ said he doesn't want to retire like Henry Cejudo. I don't want to retire like Henry Cejudo, who keeps asking for a fight all the time. I want to retire and stay cool. We're not young boys in doubt anymore. Valentina Shevchenko has recently been described by the UFC president Dana White as a force to be reckoned with in the flyweight division. Shevchenko became the flyweight champion after defeating Joanna Jedzczyk in 2018. The UFC champion has successfully defended her title six times by knocking back Jessica I, Liz Carmouche, Caitlin Chukagan, Jennifer Mayer, Jessica Andrade, and Lauren Murphy as champion. The UFC president Dana White has defended the status and the viewing of competition at flyweight, explaining how the Kyrgyzstan native just makes her competition and the division appear weak as a whole due to her ability. Shevchenko began taekwondo at the early age of five. She was greatly influenced by her older sister Antonia and her mother Elena Shevchenko, 
who both participated in the sport. Elena Shevchenko is currently the president of Kyrgyzstan's National Muay Thai Association and a former multiple-time Muay Thai champion. The Kyrgyzstan native made her UFC debut as a short-notice replacement for Jermaine Durandamy against Sarah Kaufman at UFC on Fox 17. She won the fight via split decision. When it comes to fighting style, Shevchenko is a decorated kickboxer. The UFC flyweight is well known for her precise counter-striking and exceptional ability to gorge the distance of an opponent's attack, then retaliate with a variety of counter-attacks. In addition to her striking, Shevchenko is also a highly skilled grappler and has a black belt in judo. Shevchenko is featured as a playable character in the video games EA Sports UFC 2, EA Sports UFC 3, and EA Sports UFC 4. Now before we head to the next chapter, do you consider yourself a real UFC fan and a film geek? If so, then let's start the trivia UFC quiz of the day. Which UFC fighter starred in the Captain America film? Was it A. Colby Covington, B. Brock Lesnar, or C. Georges St. Pierre? The answer will be revealed at the end of the video, so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel for more content. Let's head back to the video. The two ranked UFC lightweights Justin Poirier and Justin Gaethje will most likely be meeting for a rematch this year. Poirier and Gaethje are both coming off championship losses to uncrowned division king Charles Oliveira, and both had been without a planned booking for the months ahead. That is, until a new report claimed otherwise yesterday. Although this bout has not been officially announced by the promotion, mixed martial arts news outlet MMA Uncensored posted it on their social media account the news that Poirier and Gaethje 2 is planned for the promotion's UFC 278 pay-per-view card in August. The event is believed to take place in Salt Lake City, Utah on August 20th. However, the report claims the date will be on August 27th. The differing dates between the fight news and previous reports on the event could be a sign to take the MMA Uncensored post with a giant grain of salt, or an indication that the card could take place on the 27th instead. After losing to Oliveira at the UFC 269, Poirier hinted that he might be moving to the welterweight division. However, such a change may not offer up the most optimal version of the former interim champion. A big-time bout at lightweight is a far more sensible idea for the 33-year-old. A rematch with Gaethje, another one-time interim champion, is one of the biggest bouts that can be made in the division outside of a title bout, or a booking that includes Conor McGregor. Despite their recent losses to both Oliveira and weight-class GOAT Habib Nurmagomedov, Gaethje and Poirier are two of the most popular fighters in the division and promotion. Now, Mozarov is facing new criticisms involving his choice of a chest tattoo design. Apparently, many have pointed out the likeness of his gorilla ink to that of UFC star Conor McGregor's, and if you look close enough, there are indeed resemblances. The 27-year-old fighter, however, denied copying the Notorious. No, this is not Conor McGregor's tattoo. Guys, this is the same style. Old school, but another picture. Actually, in my country, people know me as the Ukrainian Conor McGregor, but this is different. Unlike Conor, but I'm Askar. He said via the Irish Mirror and MMA Mania. Mozarov's UFC debut also didn't end well, as he suffered a first-round TKO loss to Alonzo Menafield. The professional record of the UFC light heavyweight Askar Mozarov has been dropped from 25 for 7 to 19 for 12, after it was found to have been padded by Mozarov. This was revealed prior to its Octagon debut on Saturday at UFC Vegas 56. Here we are at the end of the video. So the UFC fighter that made a fighting cameo in the Captain America film goes to Georges St. Pierre. In the year 2014, St. Pierre took up the role of Batrock the Leaper for the movie Captain America Winter Soldier. In the movie, St. Pierre makes use of a few recognizable MMA moves. In the comic, Batrock is portrayed as a Frenchman with a mustache and was a close match for Captain America in a physical confrontation. In the scene, Batrock fights Captain America in hand-to-hand -hand combat and taunts the hero by saying, I thought you were more than a shield. Do you see any resemblance between the two? If so, comment below. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on your notifications. We'll be reading out our top comments in the near future, and make sure to watch our other videos to find out all the latest news in MMA.